Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome build. And the last time we put the rear bumpers on and the headlights onto the front end. And now for the fun part, the front bumper and grill set up. I was originally going to cut these off because on the regular car it doesn't have this... Um, that thing holding them on. But after I dry fitted it on the car, I decided that I'm just going to leave this alone. That's the way the kit was, and um, it doesn't have to be perfectly uh, like the, the actual car. I don't think I will get the spacing right. I think one will be either above or below the other, or off to the left or off to the right. So, and once the bumper's on, I would have to use the tweezers because my fingers are just too thick. I don't think I'd get them in the right position, so I think it'd look just as good just to leave them on the bumper like that. Plus, I'd have to touch up the tops of the bumper with some silver paint and the bottom of those things. And uh, that would show just as much, I think. So, we're just going to leave it as is, and we're going to go ahead and attach this front bumper to this car. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the, the glue in the hole in front. I keep wiping my hands off because I'm really worried about getting glue all over everything. Let's get some around in that hole there. And then on the bumper itself... <clears throat> It's got a few different pegs. We got one here, one here, one here, and one here. And I don't know if I was even on camera. But those pegs there, we need to get glue on. And I was hoping to get some glue on the back of this, but those are indented. So I think we're just going to worry about getting it on the, the actual pegs. And hope that's enough to hold it. So we'll get one there, come on there, that one, and then we want it all over this thing. All around this one. Okay, I'm going to switch hands because I am a righty. And it's kind of tricky. Gotta line it up just right. And I think I did. Alright, that's in the position, but I want to switch hands now. Because I did it with my left hand before. I want to just hold that into place. Right there, actually. Wow. All right. Just need to hold it. Let it settle. That worked even better with glue on it. I suppose it lubed it a little bit. It was kind of a tight fit at first, but I had to cut that hole over toward the, um, what would be the right fender if you're sitting in the car. This one right here. And, uh, because it wouldn't fit on right, it was too far to the driver's side. And if I would have forced it, I would have scratched my fenders all up. We're just going to hold that into position like that and let that glue settle. And it might take a little bit because I put quite a bit of glue on it. I wanted to make sure it was going to hold. Right now it's not holding.
Better look to make sure it's straight. There. And see, it doesn't look bad with those little parts that are holding those emblem pieces on. I don't think I could have got them in the right position if I would have tried to do it individually. So there was a reason behind them doing that in the kit. I would have preferred they would have had a hole in the front of each fender and with a peg on the back side of those so you can just slide them into the hole there. That would have been a nicer setup, but... This is one of those, I think other people on YouTube have called them uh, curbside kits. The ones that don't have the engines and the hood doesn't open and whatnot. That is not holding. Why? It might take a bit. Oh, for one. It probably wasn't even touching that hole. Let me check something here. Try to pull it off camera. Are those even hitting? Yeah, they are. I just might take a wet. A little bit. And I did put quite a bit of glue on it, so I just fogged up my chrome. But I think you get the idea. I'll play with it a little more. It it is starting to harden up, gel up, but look at that. Is it straight though? Can't have a crooked bumper. There we go. The face of the caddy. Looks pretty decent, don't it? I'll let that dry and I'd like to thank everyone. I'll probably hit it with some more glue underneath on the pegs that I can find and kind of reinforce it. But I'd like to thank everybody for watching and we'll see you guys next time.